Hello learners, my name is teacher Jonathan and welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today, Grade 4 Mathematics, we will be working out on time and today we are converting weeks to days and days to weeks. Converting weeks to days and days to weeks. And to start with, how do we tell time? How do we tell time? For more on this, join me, work together. And for a start, in our previous lesson, we learned how to convert hours into days. Hours into days. And we said a day, one day, has 24 good hours. Now, in our pairs, I would like to ask a question. How many days do we come to school? Yes, John, you can remind us, we come for five days to school. Now, how many days do we stay at home? Over the weekend, Jen, we stay for two days. So that makes seven good days. Then we start again coming back to school. So a week, one full week as seven days. One full week as seven days. So that is, let us note that one week is equivalent to seven days. One week is equivalent to seven days. Noting that five days we come to school, we rest two days, then we start again. Those makes seven good days. Now, in our groups, if one week gives us seven days, two weeks will give us how many days? Two weeks will give us how many days? Victor, two weeks will give us how many days? Remember what we have been doing? How many days? Two weeks. We multiply by seven days divide by one week so week and week will cancel so our answer will be two multiplied by seven days and here we get 14 good days that is our answer two weeks make up 14 good days can we try this one now three weeks will make up how many days Three weeks is equals to dash days. Who can tell us how many week, how many days are made up in three weeks? Yes, Victoria. Remember, we'll come back here. If one week is equivalent to seven days, three weeks is equivalent to how many days? And the days we'll do this. We'll take. We'll do this. One is equals to seven days. This is one week. So, three weeks is equivalent to how many days? We cross multiply, so it will be three weeks multiplied by seven days. We divide this by one week. So, the week cancels the week. We remain with three multiplied by seven, and we get 21 days. That is very, very correct. So, we have learned that three weeks are made up of 21 good days. Now, learners, can we try this one as our task for today as we wind up our lesson? Let us try this. How many days make up for weeks? In our task, can we try number one, convert, convert to days. Convert to days. Number one is four weeks. How many days are in four weeks? Number two. Number two. How many days are there in three weeks? This one we have done. So let me not repeat this one. This one we have done. Are there in eight weeks? Number three. How many days are there in ten weeks? Number four. How many days are there in 13 weeks. And the last one, number five, how many days are there in seven weeks? Remember to carry on and with more practice on conversion of days, conversion of weeks to days, conversion of weeks to days. And now, now, we have learned how to convert 
weeks to days and have given a task. Now can we try to convert the same days to weeks? Can we try to convert the same days to weeks? And this is what we shall do. This is what we shall do. Days to weeks. We will use the same same phrase here or our main backbone is one week is equivalent to seven days. So seven days they amount to one week. Seven days amount to one week. Wangari, can you tell us? Wangari, can you remind us? Now, 14 days, they are amounting to how many weeks? Remember, remember this, we said you can carry on a repeated subtraction as you can calculate. So we cross multiply, it's 14, 14 days, we multiply by one week, then we divide by seven days. Because we say days, one week are seven days. Days cancel days. So we remain with 14 multiplied by one week divided by seven. Now, what do we multiply by seven to get 14? We come again to our multiplication table. Seven, what do we multiply to get 14? There's 14 here. So you come upwards, you'll find it is two. So seven, 14 divided by seven is equals to to good weeks and that is how we get weeks we are converting it to day to days converting them to weeks now can we try this one can we try this one 21 good days they amount to how many weeks you will do the same way we have done there the same way we have done if one if seven days are equal to one week 21 days will be equal to what? You can either subtract 21 minus 7. 21 minus 7, you get 14. You can also take 14 minus 7 again because we said division is also a repeated subtraction. You get 7, then again you not you less than 7 to get 0. So how many times have we subtracted 7? We have one two and three so 21 days is equivalent to three weeks learners this is how we calculate or we we convert days to weeks now task number two this was task a task number two as we wind up now task number two is how to convert days to weeks because now if the first one we converted weeks to days so can you try to convert days to weeks so the first one is 20 days number number b in our task is 20, convert to convert to weeks and we start with number one is 20 days we are converting them to weeks Number two, we are converting 56 days. And the last one, we are converting 142 days. 142 days. Learners, remember, we have said seven days amount up to one week. So 20 days will amount to how many weeks? And this marks the end of our lesson for today. Remember, Practice makes perfect. You can do so in our homes, involve your parents and your guardians to help you convert weeks to days and days to weeks. See you in the next lesson.